That is not the way that Derby wanted to start 2024. A 3-2 defeat to Peterborough at home. They went ahead early on in the game, but fell to a late defeat with a final kick of the game. Let's take a look at some clips I made at the game. It's a busy period, this festive period, so please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with all my content. Thank you very much. So, as you've just seen, a very, very disappointing result for the Rams. After going nine games unbeaten with eight wins out of nine, they fell to defeat to promotion rivals Peterborough, a game which I felt was a must win. Obviously, it's a tough one to take being late on, but being at the game, it was poor. We weren't very good for first 45 minutes-ish. Um, Peterborough by far the better side they had a player wearing number 14 we'll get on to him in a minute who I thought was absolutely excellent um, I just thought we weren't really at it at half time as you saw we had to make three changes just to try and sort of get ourselves back into the game and although we weren't losing we just weren't anywhere and they were getting so many chances and was it a case of fitness? Were players a bit tired? Maybe Conor Horahan didn't seem to be on it today at all. Kept getting turned in the middle of the park, which isn't what you want for a midfielder, especially against young lads like Peterborough. So yeah, as you can see, Collins scored both the goals for Derby and then Burrows, Poku and Jones scored for Peterborough. Obviously, that leaves Derby still in fourth position, but they're now three points behind Peterborough with a game in hand. We'll just take a look into the lineups. Now, 
I wasn't really too opposed to the lineup. I felt like we could have made a couple of changes because I felt legs were starting to go, especially at Oxford. I didn't think we were tired per se, but it's just one of those where you've got so many aging players anyway. You just need to make a couple of changes. And as you can see, with Peterborough's young side, they they found a way, found a formula to make it work after being on the edge and being tired at Barnsley. Um, obviously, scoring early on, you don't expect to then go on to lose, but we just couldn't sort of find our feet in the game. Uh, and that third goal, absolute travesty. Um, Nelson and Cashin battling each other for the ball when they should have just been getting it away. I think Wildsmith could have come for it, but... It's one of those where if he comes and both defenders miss it, you wide open goal anyway. So it's one of them. It's a 50-50 really. Obviously, if we look at this momentum chart here, you can see it was a very sort of end-to-end -end, topsy turvy game. Didn't really feel like apart from like when we scored, I didn't really feel like it was really in the game a lot. Although this reflects otherwise. I felt like we had the ball, but we didn't really do much with it. Their penalty someone needs to have a word with the EFL officials because their player, deliberate handball, should have been sent off, in my opinion, because I believe they already had a yellow card. But it's one of those, nothing we can do about it now. It's time to move on to the next game. We face Fleetwood next weekend. I believe it's an early kickoff. Uh, and obviously, Fleetwood sitting at the bottom of the table just appointed Charlie Adam. So that can be a massive game for us. So, yeah. Tough one, not really a game I have a lot to say about, really. It was just one of those where we just weren't in it. Obviously, runs have to come to an end, and that was the end of ours. But now it's about getting on to the next one, looking forward to who we can be, who we can get in in January. Are we going to bring in Blackett Taylor? Is um, is Tyrese John Jules going to stay? Two like, massive decisions that need to be made. Obviously, we've learned today that Aaron Cashin has had his contract extension exercised. So he is now here for another 18 months. Um, and Max Bird has been apparently been told, according to Sky, that he will not be leaving the club in January. And I believe that is massive for us. But we need a striker. We need a winger. We need to add some more depth to the forward areas. And I'd probably say we need a midfielder because I think the legs in midfield is what we're lacking and especially what we lack today against a younger side. So make sure you hit the like button, click subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this game and we'll take a look into the festive predictions which I made in tomorrow's video and see what I got right and what I didn't. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok pictured here and Twitter pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.